What is up guys, welcome back and today I'm going to be doing another compilation of 8 glitches and tricks in GTA 5 Online and today's video was supposed to be a 10 glitches and tricks compilation uh, but unfortunately due to today's latest hotfix on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One uh, a few of those glitches have in fact been patched so once again coming at you guys with a compilation of 8 today ranging from a bunch of different things we have a few character glitches in this one, uh, secret spots, ways to get RP and uh, just a few glitches that I thought would be perfect to compilate uh, and of course share with you guys today so we with that being said guys, as always, if you do go on to enjoy this video and do want to see more compilations like this in the future, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you can smash 3000 likes on this video, that would be absolutely crazy. And with that being said, let's jump straight into this. So we're going to kickstart this compilation off today with a relatively new wall breach that I actually never knew about. Some of you guys may know about this, some of you may not. And uh, to do this, all you want to go ahead and do is make your way over to this location on your map. Once you're here, go ahead and climb up to the exact location I do, then simply walk straight into the wall and you guys will notice that you actually breach straight through the wall. Now there's several things that you can do here, you can either walk straight along the edges of the wall itself to go ahead and walk alongside while you're inside of the building, or alternatively you can kind of use this as a teleportation method, you can actually go underneath the map and I'll pull up your parachute and if you keep still you would actually end up teleporting uh, to the train tracks underneath, or you can actually control it underneath the map and you can kind of use your main map to indicate where you're going and teleport up to the exact location to of where you was on the minimap so it's a pretty cool wall breach something that's kind of brand new to me and I thought want to go ahead and share this with you guys today so that pretty much wraps it up for that one and now moving on to the next one so the next one is pretty much how to have no head as you can see right now and my head is completely invisible and I'm walking around headless which is pretty damn insane and I definitely one of those funny glitches to do now to do this all you guys want to go ahead and do is invite a stripper to your apartment now if you don't know how to do this you do need to go ahead and I get a stripper in your phone book in your contacts and to do that you need to make your way down to the strip club and fill up the like meter on any of the strippers and they will end up giving you uh, their contact number and from there of course you can go ahead and invite them to your apartment. Once you've invited a stripper to your apartment, just give it a few seconds and she'll walk over to a chair and start dancing. And here is where the glitch sort of things come into place. So how this works is you want to bring up your phone, then go to the quick job, then select play random. As soon as you guys have selected play random, start button mashing right on the d-pad to accept the dance from the stripper and of course this will now put you in the animation of getting the dance. But as soon as you can, you want to press the white or triangle button uh, to immediately exit from the dance and as soon as you have exited from the dance, uh, go ahead and bring up your phone again. This time go to your job list and accept any random job from any of the GTA characters, so Simeon, Martin, Lester or anybody along those lines. Just accept any one of those random jobs and once again, as soon as you accept it guys, be prepared here, immediately start button mashing right on the d-pad again to accept the dance again now basically what's going to happen this time is during the dance a job should load up as you can see by the gameplay and as soon as the job loads up go ahead and quit from the job and as soon as you quit you have now done the glitch as you can see now my character is completely headless and I'm walking around literally without a head and once again uh, this is just one of those funny glitches to do maybe troll your friends with the only downside to this and this is a pretty big downside as well and that is that you can't do this forever this is one of those glitches that you can do to troll your friends and your apartments and things like that uh, but it doesn't last forever so you know it's something still pretty awesome definitely one of those glitches to troll your friends with and are pretty damn funny as well so with that being said hope you guys enjoyed this one and now moving on to the next one so for the next two, we have two different ways to obtain rare items within GTA 5 Online. The first one is obtaining probably one of the rarest parachutes in the game, uh, also known as the High Flyer Parachute, which was an event parachute, I believe, way back in the day. So uh, if you didn't manage to get it then, you can go ahead and get it now using a brand new method. Uh, and also, of course, how to obtain the open duffel bag as well as the closed duffel bag and the 100% methods working on how you guys can actually do this. So we're going to start off with the High Flyer Parachute. Now, to get the High Flyer Parachute, you are going to need two things one is to be wearing a leather jacket it doesn't really matter which leather jacket that you are wearing uh, as long as you are wearing a leather jacket and number two is to go ahead and purchase the Puerto Rico parachute bag uh, from the nearest ammunition store now once you have got the parachute bag uh, go ahead and equip the parachute bag over your leather jacket as you can see right now uh, by the gameplay in the background we do have the Puerto Rico parachute bag over my leather jacket and then make your way down to any nearby hair salon once you're in there, press right on the D-pad to enter the hair salon menus and then from there simply back out from the hair salon and it is literally as easy and simple as that. It literally transforms itself uh, into the high flyer parachute as you can see uh, by the gameplay in the background. And once again, this is just one of those rare parachute bags that I believe was an event parachute bag that a bunch of you guys may have missed out on and of course if you do want to obtain it now, uh, then you can do so using this method. And it, this also works the same way uh, for the duffel bags as well. There's actually two different variants of the duffel bag that you guys can obtain. Uh, you can obtain the closed 
duffel bag which is kind of full up and the open duffel bag uh, which is empty and slightly open as well. Now to obtain these, pretty much the same thing again but for the parachute bags you need to go ahead and purchase the Israel parachute bag for the closed duffel bag and uh, the Palestine parachute bag for the open duffel bag. So uh, once you have purchased one of them, make sure that you are wearing a t-shirt, it has to be a t-shirt, uh, you cannot be wearing a jacket for this one and uh, basically once you are wearing the t-shirt go ahead and equip either the Israel parachute bag or the you know the Palestine parachute bag, uh, walk it into the hair salon, do the same thing again, enter it, then of course get out of it and uh, as you can see it now transforms itself into a duffel bag which you can then go ahead and save as an outfit to keep and it is pretty damn awesome so hope you guys enjoyed that one and now moving on to the next one. So for the next one, we have two variants of an RP glitch, an AFK version, which I did show you guys last time, which will be linked down below. But we're going to be focusing more on the RP farm this time, which was created by All Silence. Now, to do this, all you want to do is add the job to your game, which will be listed in the description down below. And now once you have added it to your game, go ahead and invite a friend to this. Now, this job is going to net you around 1,500 RP uh, to 2,000 RP very, very quickly, depending on what you do uh, inside of the job. And you guys will see what I mean by that here shortly. So essentially, once you have invited a friend, to the job what you now want to do is make sure that you have the weapon set set to owned plus pickups and make sure that you have the first to win round set to four because if you have it set to four it will basically auto restart itself four times in a row saving you a bunch of time and of course making you more rp in the process of doing so so once you've got all of that set up just go ahead and start up the job like so and as soon as you spawn into the game you will notice that there is a bunch of enemies in front of you so go ahead and pull out like an rpg or a rocket and you want to kill them all as quick as you can and now each enemy that you kill will you're around 25 RP and there was around 20 enemies there so if you kill them all that is 500 RP very very quickly for you guys to gain but there is still a lot more RP to gain within this mission you can either choose to kill all the enemies again as they do actually respawn and you can gain an additional 500 RP doing that or alternatively what you can do is turn back around pick up all of the suitcases off the floor for each suitcase that you pick up you gain 25 reputation and when you deliver all eight of the suitcases you gain an additional 800 reputation which is 100 RP uh, per suitcase that you've delivered so that's 800 reputation for delivering the suitcases an additional 100 that you get at the end of the round which is 900 plus the 500 at the start so you've already gained like 1400 reputation and if you actually wanted to you could gain even more than that by killing the enemies over and over again of course gaining you 500 rp for every 20 that you killed so you know it's a decent amount of reputation it takes you no longer than around a minute to actually complete the job so uh, and of course the addition to this as well is if you have it set to four rounds it will automatically restart every single time and uh, making it a lot quicker for you guys now in addition to this there was also a AFK method which I have shown you guys before in the past but I thought I'd go ahead and I also link that down below just in case you don't want to do this one and you want to go ahead and do the AFK one and the AFK one is absolutely insane once you've loaded up the job once again linked down below and you have the round set to seven you can literally stand there and it will be around 30 minutes before you have to go ahead and come back and then you will gain a crap ton of RP for literally standing still not doing anything uh, in the process of doing so so two pretty awesome RP jobs both linked in the description down below uh, just in case you guys do want to go ahead and use them now for the next two coming up we have a secret spot over at the Eclipse Towers which was kind of old but patched and then with the recent heist update actually ended up getting unpatched with the update to the exteriors and then shortly afterwards I'll be showing you guys how you can wear a bandana with any of your items of clothing and pretty much wear it without the glasses and the hat uh, which is also pretty damn awesome. So uh, as for the secret spot itself all you want to do is make your way over to the Eclipse Towers with any motorcycle of your choice and then pretty much ride a motorcycle as you see me doing here so that you bounce off the wall and end up at the top front area of the Eclipse Towers. And from here you are pretty much done uh, all you now need to go ahead and do is crash your motorcycle once again uh, up against the wall so that you fall off and end up falling underneath the roof as you can see here and uh, what it will actually end up doing is teleporting you through the roof of the eclipse towers uh, into the secret sprout wall breach itself which is pretty damn awesome once again uh, this is a pretty old location that i have showed you guys in the past but it was patched and now it's unpatched again and you guys can now go ahead and use this to your advantage there are several places that you can go to you can actually go above the garage or you can stay above uh, in this location here completely invisible to the people outside side or alternatively if you want to go ahead and get out of this you can also jump underneath the map use your parachute again and kind of control it to teleport you into a location uh, of your choice so pretty damn awesome hope you guys enjoyed that one and now moving on to the final one so the final one is kind of like a generic trick i wouldn't really call it a trick but it's something that some of you guys out there may not know about and essentially how this works is when you try to purchase a bandana from the mask store it will automatically come with a pair of glasses and of course a hat with it now essentially what you can do you can go ahead and remove the glasses and the hat from your nearest 
is closed store uh, to wear it by itself or alternatively you can go ahead and use any other hats alongside it and it's just something out there that some of you guys may not have known about and you might have thought that you know it only comes this way and this is the only way uh, that you can use it so I thought I'd kind of throw that in there just as a little kind of disclaimer about that uh, towards the end of the video to pretty much wrap up the compilation of eight glitches and tricks now of course there was supposed to be around three or four more glitches that I did have planned to add to this but I couldn't because they did get hot fixed today uh, unfortunately but either way I thought I'd go ahead and bring the whole thing to you guys today uh, from what I had left over and hopefully you guys did enjoy so uh, if you guys did enjoy the video and do want to see more compilations like this in the future guys maybe a 10 glitches and tricks again uh, be sure to leave a like down below let's see if we can smash 3,000 likes that'd be absolutely crazy subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you all later with a brand new video